So this is basically the inside of a DL800 seven-speed DCT gearbox that they use in a Lamborghini Huracan or Audi R8. Good job. Thank you. Very proud of you, man. <laughs> they look delicious. Mm -hmm. What do you think? From one to ten, what would you rate it? So we're here cutting tops for engine pallet boxes. Quite a process, a lot more than you'd think. Or at least for a guy like Jimmy. <laughs> hey, just what you wanted, right? <laughs> Got a present for you. Meet my friend Plank. Good job. There's reason. Thank you. I'm very reason. proud of you, man. <laughs> Look at you. You no, got happy. Now you're just being corny, man. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brenton Brown from Forza Tuning and Performance. And this is basically the gearbox section of our Huracan Twin Turbo build. So I'm gonna kind of go through what we're doing here just to give you all kind of an idea and show you all some, what the stuff actually looks like. This is in no particular order, just how I have it laid out. So this is a Dodson uh, billet side case. So this is a differential cover. Um, this basically just adds structural rigidity to the, train, to the gearbox case, um, makes it stronger. It does look good, but mostly for strength. Uh, just to give you a comparison, this would be what the stock cover looks like. So it just cast aluminum, um, not near as strong. So again, it's just strengthening up the case of the gearbox. Um, similarly, what we have next to it is a billet oil sump uh, or oil pan. So the, the stock one is plastic. It's over there just, and this is billet. So obviously this is much stronger. Um, it has a serviceable filter, um, several magnets uh, more than the stock one. Again, this is gonna cover the whole bottom of the transmission, which would be this entire area. So it's gonna provide a lot of structural integrity to the case across the bottom, especially versus a plastic cover. We're replacing second gear. Um, second gear is the weakest gear um, in this transmission. Um, it drops down size pretty significantly from first physical size, so there's a lot more stress on the teeth. So if you're, if you're gonna increase the power of the car significantly over stock, um, this is going to be the gear that, that definitely fails first. So what we're doing is we're putting a much stronger gear. So it's the same ratio. We're not changing anything like that. We're just making, uh, replacing it with a much stronger component. So what you have here is this, the, this is a two six gear stack inside the gearbox. So this is second gear, um, synchronizer and shift fork. And then you have sixth gear right here. So we're going to replace this gear with this billet second gear. All right, so I'm just going to take these out of the way. So I got a little bit more room to show y'all. Um, these are basically all tools that are used to take the gearbox apart. So replacing the stock clutch with a Dodson Promax unit. It's a nine on nine. So it's, um, that just refers to the amount of clutch clutches and steels. So this is what the stock basically um, clutch will look like. Um, I've got the inside out of it and I've got the bolts in it, so I'm not gonna flip it completely upside down. But the weak point in here is, is these baskets, okay? So these are relatively thin, not real strong. So once you start increasing the line pressure and the pressure on the clutches, uh, these baskets can, can break. And when they do, it will catastrophically destroy the gearbox. Um, so, what Dodson has is they've got several options. So they've got some, some clutches and seals you can replace where they have like a sportsman clutch or, or their Pro Max, which is their top of the line. So this portion is what actually engages in the back of the flywheel. Um, so this is a much stronger unit than this. Obviously the billet cover is gonna add a lot of strength, but the most significant thing are the baskets. So this is drastically thicker than the stock ones. This is billet steel. Um, so you're not gonna break these. So you know, it's kind of what it looks like. So this is a, uh, that's an upgrade we do fairly often. 
we're replacing the uh, differential carrier with a wave track unit. So I've already started switching over the bearings. Um, so this is the stock one. And basically the internals of this are different. The advantage to doing this is this is responsible for distributing the power to the two back wheels. The amount of power that they're capable of handling is somewhat limited. And what will happen is it will essentially deliver predominantly most of the torque to one of the back wheels as soon as this thing starts wearing out, which traction wise you don't want to do. Kind of like the old cars, it'd be like one wheel burnout. You'd sort of have like that. So the wave track, um, it's a much stronger unit and it will not do that. So it will evenly distribute the torque to both back wheels. That way you've got maximum traction and you don't have anything breaking. So that's wave tracks unit and we'll replace that. S keeping the stock ring and pinions, all the gear ratios will stay the same. Um, and then the stub shafts, so, or half shafts, whatever you want to call them. So these are the stock units. Uh, these are both Dodson. So these are basically what the CV axles bolt to. So this goes into the transmission. These engage with the wave track or whatever carrier you're using. And then the CV axles that you see going each wheel bolt to these flanges. So these are hardened, um, much stronger design. And so we're also redoing the CV axles on the car, upgrading the bars across there. But if there's anything in particular here that you want more detail on, uh, maybe I can explain what's in there and show you more in detail if anybody's interested in that. So this is basically the inside of a DL800 seven speed DCT gearbox that they use in a Lamborghini Huracan or Audi R8. Uh, transmission is actually made by a company called Graziano in Italy. So Audi or Lamborghini doesn't build this gearbox. It's a third party company. So yeah, if, uh, if there's anything in particular you wanna see or know or whatever, just let me know, drop in the comments. And while I have it apart, I'll be happy to address anything more detail. <laughs>what do you think by just looking at them? They look delicious. Hey, let's try them out. Cannot wait to put it in my mouth. You gotta put that lime on it. Mm -hmm. Bam. Mm -hmm. What do you think? From one to 10, what would you rate it? A 10. 10? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, when okay. I started working here, man, I used to eat these every day for like a whole month. Yeah. A whole month. I could do these every day too. Banging.